Hello everyone, Jason Shepherd here from the Learn Welsh podcast and uh, today we're looking at a list called 13 slang words and phrases you only know if you're Welsh or live in Wales. Now we've looked at a lot of these kind of lists in the past and they're always all the same and they're the same words but a good thing about this list is from Wales Online there are a few words that I haven't taught you or looked at before. Um, I'm sure you'll know a lot of them yourself but there's some here that I hadn't, um, I mean, I know them, but I hadn't seen them in one of these lists before. Okay, and there is one here actually that I don't know. So uh, let me just uh, set this up properly so I can, uh, let me stand this up on something. Right then, okay. So it says here, uh, Welsh slang is full of confounded phrases. And that is without even getting into Welsh language or Wenglish. Or the combination of both. Well, English is our, uh, it's our colloquial English language. So it's, it's um, the words that we use colloquially in English. And sometimes they're a combination of Welsh words or slang from other places. But well, English is fun. We'll do a, a video completely on what well, English is one day. But it's basically Welsh slang. Okay, so from thanks drive to all right, but there are so many words you say without thinking to your friends that will be met with a look of complete confusion from a non-native. And here are a list of words and phrases you'll only understand if you're Welsh or live in Wales. The first one, now in a minute. Or as we would say, I'll be there now in a minute. Oh, um, I'll see you soon. Oh, where are you going? Oh, I won't be long. I'll be there now in a minute. And it literally means... I'll be there soon. Or I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon, yeah. I won't be long. I'll be there now, but in a minute. Soon. It makes perfect sense if you're from certain parts of Wales. Uh, they say here, if you've watched Gavin and Stacey, then you've probably heard this one before. Well, uh, will you be here now or in a minute? One or the other? The oxymoron only makes sense to a Welshie. Yeah, it makes perfect sense to me. Uh, over by there. Not over there or by there. I'll meet you over there. Or I'll meet you by there. No, 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 no. Over by there. Which makes it sound like you're not meeting them at that particular point that you're pointing to. Uh, but you meet them next to it. I'll meet you over by there. But it basically means I'll meet you wherever I'm pointing. I'll meet you there. That's where I'm going to meet you. Over by there. I'll meet you over by there, now in a minute. Tamping. Um, it says here, tamping means fuming, raging. Do not mess with a Welsh person when they are tamping. Yeah, it means really angry. Like uh, if a mum has uh, her child has been very naughty, she'll say to him, I am tamping with you. I am tamping mad at you. I am so angry. I'm tamping. And if mum says she's tamping, you run and wait until she's cooled down a bit. You do not want to deal with a mum or dad who's tamping. Noblin. Now, noblin is cold. But it's not just cold, it's a freezing cold. Oh, I'm noblin. Oh, it's, it, oh, it's noblin cold up here. Oh, noblin. A Welsh person doesn't get cold. They do not get freezing. They are always noblin. Pronounced with an upward inflection and missed, missing off the G sound uh, as if to ask, well, am I Noblen? Why am I Noblen? Actually, I think I did go up, didn't I? Didn't I go up? And I also dropped the G just automatically without reading that bit. You, yeah, you go, oh, I'm Noblen. Noblen. Oh, it's so cold. I'm Noblen, man. I'm Noblen. Yeah, you've always got write up because, you know, it's not just cold. It's really cold. Very dramatic. Chopsy is somebody who's, um, as it says, you're a bit mouthy, a bit argumentative, I would say. They're chopsy. It can also be used in verb form if someone is chopsing. Hey, he's chopsing at me. Don't be chopsy. Uh, it's often used with children because that child is talking out of turn. They shouldn't be talking like that to an adult. They chops in. They're being chopsy you now. Stop what you're doing now. Or I'll be tamping mad with you, right? And then, I, and then I'll meet you over by there, right? Over by there, now in a minute, and you don't want that. Uh, thanks, Drive. 
um, or cheese drive is another one. That's the one I hear more. Uh, yeah, I don't hear thanks drive. It's weird. I hear cheers drive, meaning thanks drive, or thanks driver. It's as if when they say the word thank you, it's so posh that they have to elongate the word from drive to driver. And a, a drive is basically the bus driver. It says here, this one goes against innate beliefs about being polite, except in Wales. It actually is a polite way to thank a bus or taxi driver after a ride. And quite a few people have uh, messaged me on YouTube, uh, on the YouTube messages saying, Hey Jason, we live in various parts of England and we also say thanks driver. So that's nice. Um, but, all right, but, how are you, but? But is short for butty, which is similar to the word buddy in America or bud in America, meaning, meaning friend. All right, but, uh, not a rude word it says here, but rather a term of endearment among friends. In the same way you might say buddy or mate, you'll get an all right, but. Um, I'm from the wrong part of Wales for all right, but. But is not a word that we used to use back in Swansea. So even though I now live in an area where you hear it all the time, it's still a bit strange for me saying it myself. And if somebody says to me, all right, but, I'm like, oh, oh. It seems kind of odd, but I'm getting used to it. I am. And it's, it's nice, isn't it? It's friendly. Ah, uh, kutch. A little bit of a kutch. Uh, kutch meaning a loving cuddle, it says here. This emblematic Welsh word represents the friendly nature of Welsh people. There's nothing in the world better than a kutch. And we always say in Wales, we don't hug in Wales, we kutch. As if it's a special thing. Like Welsh hugs are more special. We coach, we don't hug. You can even get t-shirts with that on it. Half and half. Of all of Wales's quirks, this is one of the most controversial, it says here. Half and half is when you order a curry and get half a portion of rice and half of chips with the order. And it says, not wrong with that. And yes, it is controversial, because you know, because I've used, said about this word before, I hate half and half. Why on earth would you have curry with chips? It's with rice. It doesn't taste right with chips. You have this curry sauce thing in chip shops as well, which is like a, a thin curry without all the um, the vegetables and the meat, etc. It's just the curry sauce, usually with a couple of raisins and things like that to sweeten it a little bit. Not my thing. I like a good bit of vinegar on my chips. Salt and vinegar. Um, my grandmother, who I call Mam Gie, she likes uh, sweet and sour chicken but she doesn't like it with rice the first time she tried it was in a it was in a restaurant or a cafe i should say and they give you the option of chips or rice and she's only and she only ever had it with chips so when i offer her some with rice she's like oh that's disgusting and when i see her putting sweet and sour on her uh chips it looks a bit disgusting to me as well oh well that's it everybody likes different things most of the words I've done today have been in other lists, but this one, this one is not in a list that I've uh, told you before, as far as I know. Uh, a poody. Don't hear it. I don't hear it very much, uh, but I do know it. Someone can either be poody or having a poody. It's the Welsh equivalent of the Midlands saying mardy, or to put it in plain English, you're moody. Yeah, you could say, oh, he's having a poody, or I'm having a poody, or oh, why are you so poody today? You know, that kind of thing. Doesn't feel so natural to me because it's not one I use. But this next one, which is also a new one to, our, uh, to the list that we've been looking at, hanging. And it's best if you can drop the G and drop the H. So hanging becomes hanging. Oh, absolutely hanging. That curry sauce on top of chips, that was hanging. Oh, that trousers you're wearing. Oh, I don't like it at all. Hang in. It's hanging. Oh, I don't like I don't like that over there. It's hanging. So hanging or hanging, as we would say, means horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Not just horrible, but it's really, really horrible. Let's see what this says here. This is not hanging in the sense of being hangover. Can you say hanging is in hangover? Okay. It's used to describe anything fairly disgusting looking. Oh, 
her dress was angin. And to say properly, as I say, drop the H, drop the G. Angin. Tidy. This one has to be on you. It says, perhaps the most well-known Welsh phrase, tidy. It means great, brilliant, fantastic. Tidy. Back in the 70s on TV, whenever somebody was taking off a Welsh accent and pretending to be Welsh and doing a bad job of it, they'd always go, all right, tidy man. Words that I don't hear. I do not hear the word tidy or man very often, very occasionally. But tidy, tidy. Another one apparently is tidy darts, which means the same thing. Um, I've never heard tidy darts except for on TV. I wouldn't mind hearing somebody say that one. Apparently it's quite popular in certain parts of Wales. Um, as is tidy, but just not around here. So the last word on this list is dons. Uh, I, think, I think I'm pronouncing it right, especially knowing where it comes from. Because I have read it already. Yeah, I know, terrible. No, uh, apparently uh, it comes from the word McDonald's. So Don's is a shortened version of McDonald's. It says this is at the bottom of the list because it's quite spe specific to Llandailo and its surrounding areas. It is the word they use for McDonald's. So I would, I would assume something like this. Uh, where are you going tonight? Oh, I'm off to Don's to get some chicken nuggets. Really hungry, but I don't fancy cooking. Don's. Don's. Now, I have family in Clandilo, or from there. I'm going to ask them if that is something that they hear a lot in Clandilo. I mean, down here, well, at least back in Swansea, they used to say, uh, Mackie D's. I'm going off to Mackie D's to uh, get some chicken nuggets. The reason I say back in Swansea and don't mention here in Bridgend is because there's no McDonald's nearby. The nearest McDonald's is quite a few miles away. Anyway, it's not necessarily big loss, is it? I'm more of a Burger King guy anyway, except for the chicken nuggets. Love the chicken nuggets. I've never tasted any nuggets like chicken Mac nuggets. And this is not sponsored by anybody, honest. <laughs> no, I'm not famous enough to get sponsored. Uh, but anyway, this is a nice little list with a few words there for people that want to learn some Welsh slang. If you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd li like to see more of our videos, why not subscribe? And if you'd like to see every video as it comes out on the dot, right there and then, click the little bell. Uh, thanks again for everybody for the support I'm getting. It's so great. You know, all the wonderful comments, you know, people engaging in, com in, in the conversation on Facebook, uh, the Facebook group on, on YouTube itself, um, on Instagram. We have some great chats and some great comments about Wales and the Welsh language. Right, uh, if you would like to support us and you're not already, you can go to uh, learnwelshpodcast.co.uk, join the Learn Welsh Podcast Club, or you can go to uh, patreon.com slash learnwelsh. Either way, you get lots of... Uh, Extra learning materials if you love learning Welsh. You get videos, audios, uh, quizzes. And uh, we also have some fun videos there for people who aren't necessarily learning Welsh but want to know more about our country. Even things from things like this, the slang words, all the way to some historical stuff. It's time for me to go. I'm off down to Don's to get some chicken nuggets. And I'll uh, see you again soon. Oh yeah, tell you where I'll see you. I'll meet you. Over by there, now in a minute, right? Oh, bye.